Somewhere between 50 and, I don't know, a billion people have asked me to do a video tutorial on Garnet now, so this is the epitome of me bending to that pressure. Garnet is an interesting and extremely diverse gemstone that's been used in jewellery for centuries. It's a group of minerals, actually, that comes in a variety of different colours, although most people tend to assume only red. It also occurs in orange, green, purple, brown, and even black. In this video, what I'm going to try and do is explore what garnet is, where it comes from, how it's formed, its composition, value, any relevant folklore, as well as some interesting historical facts, all of which whilst losing my voice. Okay, so what actually is garnet? Well, firstly, contrary to popular opinion, garnet isn't just one thing. As I said earlier, it's actually a group of minerals that includes six different species. These include things like pyrope, almondine, spessartine, grossula, andradite, and uvarovite. These minerals more broadly have similar crystal structures as well as similar chemical compositions, but they can differ in colour and other physical properties. Garnet is commonly used as a gemstone in jewellery, but it also has loads of industrial applications. Some of the most notable are probably things like abrasive blasting or water jet cutting. Okay, so where does garnet come from? Garnet comes from many of the old mining favourites, places like the United States, Brazil, Russia, India, Sri Lanka, many of the locations that are commonly associated with large commercial scale mining operations, which isn't to say that these are the only places where they occur, it's just the only places where they really get mined and then commercially extracted and then exported. The location and specific type of garnet can affect its colour and value. For example, the garnets from Mozambique in Southeast Africa or Tanzania are known for their bright red colours, while the garnets from places like Madagascar, which is an island just off of sort of Mozambique, South Africa in Southeast Africa, are prized for their unique green colour and are widely considered to be some of the rarest in the world. Garnet is formed under high pressure and temperature conditions, typically in metamorphic or igneous rocks. The specific conditions under which garnet forms can affect its colour and other physical properties. For example, garnet formed under high pressure is often smaller in size and has a darker colour than garnet formed under lower pressure. Garnet's chemical composition varies, of course, depending on the specific species, but it typically contains aluminium, iron, calcium, magnesium and silicon. The amount of each element can affect the colour and or physical properties of the garnet. For example, iron-rich garnets are often red or brown, while magnesium-rich garnets are often green. The value of garnet varies enormously depending on colour, clarity, size, species and other physical properties. Some of the most valuable garnets are those with bright red or green colours and few inclusions. Sarvorite might be a good example. The rarity of a particular type of garnet can also affect its value. For example, some types of garnet are only found in specific locations and are therefore more valuable by orders of magnitude. In medieval times, garnet was a popular gemstone among European royalty and nobility. It was used in crowns and rings and other jewellery, and was often associated with power, wealth and royalty. Which is interesting, because by and large, garnet tends to be quite cheap, at least in a broad sense. In the Victorian era, garnet was a popular gemstone for mourning jewellery, and its dark red colour was seen as appropriate for mourning, funerals and such. To summarise before my voice completely gives up the ghost, garnet is a fascinating gemstone that's been used in jewellery and for ornamental purposes for thousands of years. It's been used for millennia. It comes in a variety of different colours and species and it's found in various different parts of the world. Garnet is also formed under high pressure and temperature conditions and its chemical composition can affect its colour and overall physical properties. The value of garnet varies, of course, depending on its colour, clarity, as well as other physical properties, and it has a rich history and folklore that adds to its allure.